Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last session we finished up the Ark with uh, the the king that we were deposing and replacing and then we did this weird glitch thing <laughs> uh, where it was the the future person. What's her name? I forget what her name is. <laughs> the, the, the person we play as in modern times uh, climbing some like weird tower thing and <laughs> getting data and it, it was very strange. I don't entirely understand it, but I assume that climbing multiple of those will make a whole video out of the data that we collected and we will learn some stuff from it. That is that is what I think is occurring there. <laughs> some some secret or something. Uh, I just want to climb up top here because the only reason we noticed this was because it was very visible from far away. And so I'm just curious if I can see any more like glitching points just by looking I'm just gonna turn slowly <laughs> well the issue is that <laughs> in the, the mountains in the background are glitching slightly but uh, that's just I'm pretty sure the game not actual not the kind of glitches I'm looking for I'm not seeing any because it was like very deliberate <laughs> like world phasing type glitches yeah I'm not not seeing any more of those oh well I look forward to running into the next one because that was a very cool change of pace change of uh, type of thing that we're doing did enjoy right so what are we doing today well Given that we have concluded that arc. Uh, wait, I don't have any skills to spend, do I? No. Uh, given that we have concluded that arc, it is probably time to go back home, I guess. Uh, unless, uh, what's that? That's a 130. No, that's 250. No, that's only 20. We could go and raid that. I'm thinking that's a good idea. Because it is only a 20 power and we'll get a bunch of stuff for upgrading our town. So, uh, let's fast travel there. Is that the closest fast travel point? I think so. It's pretty, it's pretty close. Oh, wait, I can fast travel there. Oh, I didn't realize. But that makes sense. And, uh, let's go raid that joint just to warm ourselves up and then head back home, upgrade our settlement a bit and see what's next. I mean, I think we already saw what's next. The last time we went to the map, right, it gave us a couple of uh, couple of options. We went with our brother, but uh, we can now do the other option. Uh, if this loading screen would like to load. Wow, okay, we've actually got a progress bar appearing at the bottom. That's different. Okay, and now I'm getting worried. <laughs> this shouldn't be taking this long. Okay, so the game hard crashed. Uh, so, we're... <laughs> cool. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Luckily, we haven't done anything much. But uh, could you could you not hard crash next time? That would be great. That would be fantastic. Can we please fast travel without hard crashing? Please? Please. Well, we can actually see Eivor here. So, hopefully that's working. Okay, thank God. Not a fan of hard crashing, gotta, gotta say. Right, so we want to go to there. So we need to 180 our ship. Head back that way. Here we go. Enemy camp, Eivor. That's the one we've already raided, isn't it? Oh, wait, this is a dead end. God damn it. Yeah, we had to go right down there. Don't. I hate that there's no way to remove just one marker, man. There we go. Didn't we already raid that one? I feel like we already raided that one. Oh, 
let's just do what we were planning. Turn! Turn! Don't want to hit that poor person's boat. I know our boat is uh, significantly better, but still, got to let them have their little luxuries. These poor commoners. <laughs> Time for rain! Hello, friend. Lovely jubbly. Anything much to loot over there? Not really. I will collect some food though. Thank you very much. What's a golden barrel? I don't know if I know what a golden barrel is. Take your last breath. Whoops. Thanking you. Surprise! Oh, I really thought that was gonna... Oh wait, it totally is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go, that's what I was looking for. Nailed it. Hi. Watch for my signal. I am, I'm not playing well today. Jesus. Watch for bits. Slide off this one. I, ju I can't, like... That was weird. It was like I was animation locked every time that I hit him, but I swear that hasn't been the case before. But this time it seemed like I couldn't escape it. You okay there, mate? I would love to help you get up, man, but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, you are in the middle of fire. Wouldn't be good for my health. Oh shit! few wealth bits that we haven't got in this in this area. Very nice, very nice. Is there anyone left that we haven't killed? Oh yeah, a couple. A couple of people. Are you like included as part of the camp over there? I guess so. 
Oh, there's a lot of people over there, in fact. Yeah, I guess you'll count. I gotta get used to parrying more. Parrying is good. He says as he continues to dodge. He says as he continues to dodge. It's just, it's just automatic reaction. <laughs> I really. Oops. Hello. Okay. Okay. Can't parry a spear. I don't think. There we go, you can. Just have to get the timing right. Damn. <laughs> it's very hard to get the timing right, apparently. There we go. Are you an enemy or no, you're just you're just standing around, okay. Oh, hello. Only four pips left on that. Odin, Odin. Few more people. Lol. <laughs> Boom. Aren't you like going to die from fire damage or something, man? I feel like you should. I feel like you should die from fire damage there. Because I'd die from fire damage if I stood in the fire for ages just shooting away. It's only fair. Where the fuck's the entrance to this joint? Found it. Oh, I'm actually surprised it wasn't barred. Hey, come here. Evo, Evo. I guess the golden barrel is just the, the supplies. I guess that's what that symbol means. I just hadn't uh, hadn't registered that. Abbess Editha's journal. King Burgred stands his ground and stokes the fire that is the heathen army. No, he doesn't. I'm taking my sisters and we are fleeing the Shire. Their safety is my responsibility, as is the ability to continue our work. It is time to begin anew, some place new. God will guide us, he always has. Nice to see you. Uh, wait, no, that was nothing. Hmm, how do we get underground down there? In this building somewhere, how, perhaps? Where the fuck is the entrance to this building? I see, I see.
Come, help me with this. Now this is for taking. Quick as you like, mate. Hey. Rage completed. And that leaves only two wealth bits left in this whole area. I'm kind of curious, can we... Do we know where they are? There's one. That's in that section. So we know where one of the remaining two is. We're just missing... Oh, wait, no. This is still the same area, isn't it? It's down there. So we do know where they all are. Huh. Can I be asked to go and get them? Gonna be honest, not really. <laughs> not really. You know, it's kind of effort. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Shall we go back home? What have we got here? King Burgred has been ousted. An alliance has been forged with Uber and Eva and with the new king of Mercia, Chelwolf. Return to Ramvi with the news. Oh, and the fucking Yule Festival. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Let's upgrade our camp. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit of upgrading. A little bit of upgrading, like. So long as the fast travel doesn't die. But I think we should be good, because it's showing, Eivor. Nice. Is it nice? Oh, hello. Novid, the settlement looks quite festive. The Yule celebration oh, is God. here. It's midwinter, Eivor. Time to drink, fight, and compete in hopes of a bounteous harvest. Yolnir, the Yule God, smiles on us. The days will soon grow longer, my friend. It's all a glorious rebirth about to begin. And you did all this? Not exactly. On a scouting mission, Sunyva and I met a group of, uh, uh, we call them revelers. They did most of the work. Sunyva's manning the fist fight tournament. <laughs> All in good fun. Meanwhile, I have opened my own shop. Rather than silver, we use what I call Yule tokens. I made them myself. They certainly look homemade. Thank you, yes. Now. Before we begin our celebrations, we need to get the brewery and the cattle farm ready for the Yule Feast. And you'd like me to do that, I suppose? I would. And since I'm so fond of you, have some Yule tokens. I expect to see you at the celebrations later. Oh boy. This is literally just like... What do you call it? You know, a live service event. This brewery has not been built. Novid, you look quite at what home. What can you even spend these shop? tokens on? I am. I acquired some rather unique items on my travels, offered in exchange for precious Yule tokens. Care to see what we have? But, mate, how does your economy work? Because if the only place you can spend these tokens is at your shop, then why are you giving away stuff? <laughs> in exchange for the tokens that you can't spend because you can only use them at your own shop. How might I earn more of these tokens? Nothing could be simpler. You can earn tokens by participating in the festival or by helping out around the settlement. You work hard for us, Eivor, so I've made it a little easier for you. Show me the money, honey. It's literally just a set of stuff. <laughs> Settlement cosmetics. Tattoo cosmetics. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a pass. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. It's to gonna be a pass to from me. Get the farm ready for the festival. Settlers Brewery has not been built yet. I should do that for her before the festival. I have just the thing for you. Suniva, Norvid told me you had set something up. A fighting competition. The greatest fighting competition this land has ever seen. Oh, this is still Yule stuff. <laughs> Any rules? 
Yes. The rules are simple. Fight, drink, fight. And remember, Eivor, the more participants, the bigger the pot. If you ever find any willing fighters, bring them to join in. Is this just yes. for Yule tokens? Are you ready to begin, my power or do you get XP for it? <laughs> I mean, sure. You Let's see it. if you get any XP for it. If it's just Yule tokens for a shop with nothing good in it. I don't even know what I th would think would be good, but whatever. Can you parry with your fists? This is just like that fighting club from a couple of parts ago. Continue to the next round. Sure. I don't I don't think I have the healing and I don't think I have enough healing for it. Oh, wait. You get a little bit healed automatically? Okay. Well, that's something. Sup, bruh. Oh shit, someone, hello? You can't just cross the middle of the fight, mate. Ah oh, shit, I tried to parry it. God damn it. How many rounds does this thing have? Please only be three. Please only be three rounds. I wish it would heal for a bit more than that. <laughs> Sir. Staggered, bitch! directly through his face and the game's like yeah that's that's happening oh god there's another round is it five rounds total man i'm so close to having another heal <laughs> that is really really unfortunate if i if i had just got a tiny bit more food i'd have had a whole extra heal feels feels pretty bad Oh my god, I keep getting locked into fucking attack combos. There we go. 
we nearly done, game? <laughs> we, uh, we nearly out of here? Don't tell me it's like 10 rounds. I swear to God, game. If you tell me it's 10 rounds, I'm gonna have words with whoever came up with this. Fifth and final? Fifth and final, come on. Come on, fifth and final. God damn it, starting off with a powerful, that's just, that's just illegal. Shit. like do a stun finisher when they go down like that in this believe me I've tried is that it please let that, let that be let that be it five rounds it's playing the same animation oh my god I'm done you had a rough outing today but you still a rough a outing? Tokens. Winning five out of five? Suck me dry. Suck me absolutely dry. Okay, so which of these... Hang on. Fuck this Yule quest, bollocks. Yule brawl? Part of Yule's festival? Part of Yule festival? It's all part of Yule festival apart from that top one, is it? Sure. The rest of the Yule Festival can get straight in the bin. Directly. Without passing go or collecting $200. What have you got to say? Good to see you. Oh. I must take this my is leave. the tattoo, man. Same question so as last long. time. God, the camera didn't want to catch up then for a minute. Right. Ah, glad to see you made it, Chelbert. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Little Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Ayo! Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes? Or the eyeless children? Eyeless children. No, that cannot be right. That sounds Ask him pretty yourself. nasty. <laughs> Ravensthorpe Colony, two out of six. Oh, nice. Unlocked a bunch of new places to build. You've not been long in England, have you? I see by this map you have barely scratched Mercia. Give it time, little lord. Wessex untouched? Northumbria barren? You still have much to see. Yes, it is a work in progress. <laughs> yes, I imagine we are still fairly early on in the grand scheme. Uh, right. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Am I, I actually... Hang on. Is, my, is the main quest to speak to this trader now? Yes, I guess so. Then we can build some stuff. I saw a museum had appeared, a bakery had appeared. What are you? Good day. A new customer. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? 
Uh, I speak for him. Sigurd's the leader, technically. We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic a thousand eyes. Why did Randy think it was children's eyes? World. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our plan. <laughs> I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, <laughs> the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. Sure. Uh, how do you know me? How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have 1,000 years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Ah. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. We found a few bits of opal. Oh, it's a daily. Oh, some, some daily, some weekly. Things that cycle through. 50 opal? How? I, oh, I have 55. Really? I thought I had like four or something. I guess when you find one piece, it doesn't just give you one piece? Because I, surely I haven't found fifth Whatever. A Draugr front tattoo. The Blood Eagle. 150? Jesus. Oh, that's just a new look for my bird. Okay. Valkyrie armor. Mythical torso. Increases speed after a dive of the Valkyries. In additional increase to armor and attack. I mean, it sounds interesting, but is way too expensive. Even a unicorn figurehead for our boat is too expensive. Sure. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you it's like. It's the old, now get them to log back in every me. day because the stores rotate deal. Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. <laughs> we honored to call this our home. Good day. Well. Oh, and you get 50 opal for finishing that. So I might actually have to buy something now. I don't know if I want to, though. Um, in fact, I do know that I don't want to. Uh, where were we heading? We wanted to go... Somewhere. Do we want that? No. I guess we were going to head to the adrenaline upgrade. There's one up there and one up there. Successful parries also deal damage to the attacker. Let's head that way. Because I need to get used to parrying. Uh, so how do I get to that? It only connects to the top ones. So I have to go one, two, one, two. Okay. Okay. Wait, that doesn't actually connect to that. Oh no, it, it does, but you have to get down here. So that's a long way away. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, something around here probably. It's going to be a good few levels. Oh well. Um, Viking for hire. Complete ten contracts. Oh boy, oh boy, oh good. <laughs> Go away, Yule Festival. Can I hide it or something? I don't I don't care. I care zero percent. Uh 
Ravensthorpe. The settlement called Ravensthorpe is the Raven Clan's first established colony in England and the base of operations for their push into the territories beyond. It is also home to Randvi's Alliance Table, Gunnell's Forge, Yanli's Shop, Rowan's Stable, and other useful services, including hunting, fishing, tattoos, and exotic trading. Was that really new? <laughs> Doesn't seem like the kind of thing that would be new. Okay. Shall we see uh, about building something new? 